Hello, my name is Hannah Hurdle, and I'm the library and learning specialist at Comma Library. And today I'm here to talk to you about flipped content and its value in course instruction for student success. Flipped content is used in a flipped classroom and is a type of blended learning, which works to introduce class content to students before they get to class. This is the reverse to the idea of just introducing new content in class and then having students practice that content at home after. Students are given the responsibility to explore and study new content on their own, while class time is spent digging deeper into content through activities and group work slash discussions. Advantages to using flip content. It introduces students to content before class, which means they can access the content at their own pace and in their own way. It helps students know what is going to be covered in class and allows them time to come up with questions. There's an emphasis on student self-directed learning. Students have ongoing access to the content before, during, and after class. Faculty can teach through flipped content and then clarify or expand on the content in class. It helps remove barriers for learning and prepare students for class. And it also promotes universal design for learning because it allows students to engage with material in different ways. However, there are also some disadvantages to flipped content. There is some front end work for faculty. Not all students will engage with the content that you provide for them. It does mean increased screen time for students and a need for technology and bandwidth for all students. Now, you might be thinking, what does using flip content look like? Well, the library currently uses flip content in all eight of our library instruction classes. And every class has different types of flip content depending on student learning needs. This flip content is either made by one of our librarians, utilizes affordable learning content available through the library, or is material that has been adapted from open educational resources. And access this PowerPoint and go to Blackboard where this video is housed. And I'm gonna show you the supplemental content, which are all examples of flip content that the library uses in our instruction classes. So the first example is a thing link. For some library instruction classes, we provide interactive content through thing links. Thing links can be used to create interactive tours through photos, add text tags to photos, link to online content, and more. However, thing link allows you to, click, to link more than just photos. You can create thing links with videos, infographics, presentations, floor plans, 360 video, and more. The library uses them as an alternative way for students to access class content. One example is doing a walkthrough of the library search tool. We also have a video of this we provide to students that's located on the library's YouTube channel, but we have this interactive walkthrough as well so students can engage with the content in different ways. Make sure to check out next week's video, November 3rd, on learning tools to learn more about ThingLink and how to create your own. The next clip of content is a rubric. So this example of a rubric we use for module two, methods for approaching research. So we can calculate the points, add them up, and then have some questions um, that I use to evaluate some success as well. And then this was um, the Creative Commons license disclaimer. So students are given access to the rubric for the library and will use to assess their learning. Before they even come into the library instruction classroom, students will know exactly what is expected of them, and they will have guidelines on how to complete the group activity they can use while doing it. It's here that I'd like to note that open educational resources are a great way to start introducing flip content to your courses. This rubric the library uses for assessment, I found browsing OER Commons. Using resources through the library, affordable learning content is also a great way to start implementing flip content into your classroom. Check out some of the earlier videos in the series like race relations or cultural grants for more information on affordable learning resources available through the library. So the next thing I'm gonna show you, I'll come back to this. This is one of the group activities that we do, a Google Jamboard. Students are given access to the Jamboards or worksheets, which I'll show you an example of a worksheet in a minute, or Google Forms they will use for the group activity before class. This provides a way for students to see what exactly will be asked of them in class. It also gives them the opportunity to prepare or think about what is being asked of them. So we just ask them to put their name, their instructor's name, day and time of class. We have some instructions um, for this. This is for module three by Rains and the online sources. So they would go to this link, look at the article, and then come back to the Jamboard 
and move this over to the article, determining if it's a reliable or unreliable source. We'll use the Jamboard so that students can collaborate and work on this together in class. And then the worksheet is the same information. It's just giving them a different medium to um, access this um, information. So it's a different way that they can do it. So the next example for content, and that worksheet was from module three, alternative while reading free fact checking. So the next example is a step-by-step -step how to guide for the library databases. This is one is for CQ researcher. One way we use these guides is for library databases. The guides work to help students know where to access the databases, how to navigate them, what kind of content is available in the database, on the library's YouTube channel, there are walkthrough videos in some of the databases to offer students an alternative way to learn about library databases. The next example is the logging in to the library handout. So it shows students different ways that they can log into the library and then some troubleshooting ideas as well. So students are given a handout with instructions on how to log into the library. Um, we also have videos in the handout are provided as book content in order to give students multiple ways or opportunities to access this information. Some students would rather watch a video while others would rather have visual instructions they can read. Either way, we're actively trying to engage the learning needs or styles of multiple types of students. Like I said, there are also videos along into the library and troubleshooting, which I'll touch on next. Let me go back. So I have one of those videos linked here um, in just an introduction to the library. So we have this playlist, uh, just talking about searching in the library, how to troubleshoot, how to log into the library. So students are provided with videos from the library's YouTube channel so they know how to log into the library, um, to use the resources, do research, and search in the library. I'm gonna go. Like I mentioned, there's also um, database, so introduction to library databases playlist. So this one's on Social Explorer. So we have some on Social Explorer, GovInfo, CQ Researcher, which is the step-by-step um, -step guide I showed you, Ethnic News Watch, Race Relations in America, Culture Grams, and ProQuest History Vault um, are the ones that we currently have videos on. So students could also learn how to um, navigate the library's databases this way. So another one is the research companion. Um, for some of the library instruction classes, we provide research companion videos. These videos, quizzes, definitions, et cetera, help bring all students in the library instruction classroom on the same level. Students coming to college and the library's different backgrounds, experiences, knowledge, et cetera. So we want to acknowledge that and help provide an opportunity for all students to succeed in the library instruction classroom. Make sure to check out the video on research companion that will be out November 10th. We also, um, we send out all the book content as a handout. Um, and these handouts list all of what content students will have access to for that specific library instruction class. It also includes links so students can view the material before the library instruction class if they would like to. So this is an example of the flip content handout from module two alternative, developing your research method. So you have a research companion video link, library overview videos, library login handout, in-class worksheet, um, the peer activity handout, and then an interactive content, which would be, um, this is H5P. So we also use H5P in some of the library instruction classes as book content. So those are just some examples of not only what content that is being used in the library, but also why split content can be used in your courses. It's important to remember that flip content is based on students' needs i.e. PowerPoint handouts, videos, readings, podcasts, worksheets, how-to guides, rubrics, and more. Scroll down. 
Um, at the bottom of the supplement content of this video, I've also included an article from Teach Thought called The Definition of the Flipped Classroom if you'd like more information. While it can feel overwhelming, remember it's not an all or nothing approach. The library is here and wants to help. So if you are interested in incorporating flipped content into your courses or just want ideas on how to get started, please reach out to me at hfhurdle at uar.edu or the other two librarians in student success at Ottawa Library. Their contact information is listed on the start here page of this organization. You can also, um, um, if you want to request library services, you can go to this link, or if you want to view um, the LibGuide that we have for all of our library instruction classes, you can do that here. So we have, this is another example of using multiple different types of content so that to fit different learning needs. So we have descriptions of each instruction class. We have videos. We have the flip content handouts. So that's another resource for you as well. Thank you.